This is Armed Forces Day in Illinois and in the United States of America. It is the 60th, 60th anniversary of Armed Forces Day, and it's very important that every day be Armed Forces Day in America. We really thank you for your service to our country. You're the best. You know, during World War II, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt said, you are the pride of our nation. You are the best of the best. And I think it's very, very important that all of us in the land of Lincoln, our state, our state has 13 million people. And on this day and every day, we thank you for your service to all of us. We have a great, great democracy, the best democracy on planet Earth. That's due to you. You're on the front line of our democracy protecting our right to speak, protecting our right to have a opportunity to celebrate and have a, a veteran athletes participate in the wheelchair games. Very, very important that all of us have freedom. And I think everybody here knows that there are veterans and service members today in very far away places. They might be in Iraq, they might be in Afghanistan or somewhere else. They're deployed. They're on active duty right now. They're defend defending and protecting us against terrorism. And we have to make sure that we thank them and be right with them, our veterans, when they come home, our service members. We want to make sure they get a good job, they have decent health care, they have a good education. We owe it to them to be faithful. Three-time Purple Heart recipients. Three-time. I see a lot of familiar faces today, and I see some new ones. And I want you to know that I have the deepest respect uh, for each and every one of you. Uh, I'm amazed every day by the way you take unthinkable challenges and you turn them into strengths. But today is even more special because today is a day set aside uh, by President Truman in 1950, specifically designated to celebrate all of us, how we work together, one team, one fight. I also wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you. I'm the director of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs, and our agency is here to be your partner as veterans. If you haven't come and seen us, know uh, that we work with the AMVETS. We work with the federal VA and the VA hospitals, and we have 80 service officers across the state. Uh, we can help you. We can link you up, line you up with federal, state, benefits, local resources that are available that you've earned. Okay, so we are your advocate. Please come and see us. Uh, you can go online and look up your closest service officer if you want or just give us a call. It's very, very important that we understand that our military is made up of various forces, various branches of service. And underline the word service. That's what I think our country really admires the most about our veterans that they answered the call to duty. They gave part of their life in service to our nation. And it's important that all of us on the home front take good care of those who have borne the battle. And you have borne the battle. We thank you for that ethic of service that you have shown all of us. There is a saying that service to others is the rent we pay for our place on God's earth. And I'm here to say, on behalf of all the people of Illinois, that you've more than paid your rent in service. So it's a special honor for the governor of our state. I'm, I'm very honored to be governor, but it's an honor for me to be here in the middle of uh, Heinz Hospital, uh, with, in the middle of the most heroic people you can find on Armed Forces Day, our veterans. Thank you for your service, and may the will of people be the law of the land. Thank you. Thank you.